forgot to press the record button, so good thing I noticed that. Uh -huh. it is recording now. There we go. Yeah. Um, there wasn't a lot of people here, so I decided to do this spirit app. Well, I had a chance to kind of talk out loud. First, I'm finishing the dishes, but one thing I realized while well, I was videotaping myself cleaning the bathroom to prove that I actually clean the house, um, is I don't even understand why people who haven't talked to me in years and years are able to have any say in my life or my children. Uh, if you have no opinion, no decision-making power, when they have not seen or talked to me in years, there's no other agency or place in the world that would be allowed to make do that for you under these, those conditions. An appalling taking of my rights and um, uh, plan to still have to be reckoning. So, um, yeah. hopefully, that can be heard. That really freaking hit home to me. Especially when those people who have not talked to me in years stop talking to me based on. Uh, um, some bullcrap presumption of me doing a complete 180 from the person I have been for the past 30, 40 years of my life. And as, in order to confirm that, all they have to do is never talk to me again. They should have no freaking say and no decision making. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. They were swindled. No shit. And how that have any kind of effect on me is abhorrent and um, been torture, literally freaking torture. Imagine, imagine. People haven't even talked to you in years. Being able to have take away your rights from you without any question, not even like, try to prove myself. I do prove myself and they just ignore the evidence. And, um, I don't know who to go to anymore. I, I, I went to, I filed a complaint with the Justice Department. I don't know who to freaking go to anymore. My rights were completely taken away because I went to New York for three days ten years ago. In every way, shape, or form. In the meantime, they, they used the opportunity uh, to try to make me into what they claimed I am in order to save face or, or uh, because he's the one who really actually needs the validation. Well, I didn't go around the neighborhood and uh, my friends and family and try to uh, argue what he was saying to them because I didn't need to be validated and um, he did. That's why he hounded him and hounded him, and somehow that made me the bad guy. Is absolutely unimaginable to me for this to happen to anybody.
uh, uh, my family is absolutely speechless. I was the last person in the world that should have been made an example of. Or, or I don't, nobody should have their rights taken away like that. <clears throat> Being disallowed the ability to even submit your side of the case. The, the, the clerk returned my response because it didn't have original signatures where my children's safety was concerned but allowed his lawyer to submit non-fact based statements of most of the time I didn't even see uh, how his lawyer followed the court's rules which me acting pro se um, during one of the most difficult times in my life, I did read the Peace County Court rules and tried to follow them and was rejected and rejected. And the court clerk, I said, I just, you have to submit working copies with your um, response, and that's supposed to be within 48 hours of court. Well, okay, I understand that those papers might not have been there within 48 hours of one court date, but they certainly would have been there by the next court date, and yet it was like, oh, that was it, one and done. If you don't get it by that court date, then you don't get credit for the time uh, I don't even know where those working copies went. They never made it to the court, as far as I could see. Never were they referenced. Uh, um, I said I was the absolutely wrong person to make an example of to do this to absolutely. My children are eleven and thirteen. I had never even been arrested. I voted in every election. I had. A reason why I did what I did if anybody bothered to ask me or talk to me but they weren't reasons that I felt like divulging because unlike the narcissist claims I'm not a drama queen I don't air my dirty laundry most people didn't know this stuff about us because of the very reason Bella, Isabella, and then share what reference Isabella would be. Except for that, the thing I wrote on the wall about this was done to us, those who claim to love us and or know best, be very afraid. What? My brain? Uh, yeah. I get that with what um the high school hypnotist were afraid of. Um, one way or another, uh, yeah, they'll, be taking, they'll be talking about him probably for, for centuries, whether it's because of the hypnosis and the def 
defilement of children by someone who got everything he wanted handed to him or the fact he's going to blow up a city block because nobody gives a freaking nobody's paying attention and so uh, yeah he'll make Timothy look with McVeigh look like a fucking toddler but wow what the hell as long as Walmart has a sale woohoo <laughs> And I don't know if I should worry about the fact that, that all the stuff I look at lately has explosions. I'm now seeing leave the city run. Um, <laughs> I'm like, leave what city? Columbus, ran away. I guess it didn't really matter. Uh, and I'm, why? Why? Why would I do that? What am I going to do somewhere else? I'm, uh, fucking weirdo. God, he's a freaking... <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> as far as projecting his issues, or who has major freaking issues, issues so deep that, um, how far would you go? prevent that from being known. There's one thing that's disgusting and appalling is how far everybody else has allowed it to go. Especially people in law enforcement who are given the authority and power to do something about it, at least ask questions and investigate it. Um, that shouldn't supposedly be the average citizen's job duty and um, I shouldn't be working at a disadvantage because I went to counseling because he had a heart attack and grasped on to me and didn't want to let me go and so I sacrificed and um, the gift that, that has made um, counseling in my mind an evil that I never imagined. I never imagined I would ever discourage anybody from going to counseling and now I'm, I couldn't in good conscience ever advise anybody to go and, uh, and that's why any demand for therapy is like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's what I tried to do and what they allowed was for him to be at every single one of my sessions and manipulate my an attempt to manipulate my diagnosis into what I believe schizoaffective. But even then, he jumped on bipolar as if that is an excuse for anything that has been done to me. Absolutely not. If anything, it makes it even worse. Um, be it saying, using the word bipolar is no justification for simply wiping somebody's existence, their freaking rights, their children, the, the ability to talk to on the phone, go to a school play. When I've gone to every freaking school event in my children's lives up until then, and I have the proof, I provided the proof. I didn't just take some freaking Facebook post that I had some friends steal a password and manipulate the post. I went and got every one of their report cards signed by me saying I was in attendance at their conference, pictures of me at their school events. I, I'm un, uh, uh, yeah, they used to like, I don't know what to say, at a court of law, stopping at a Facebook post, submitted completely incorrectly. It was, in my opinion, the way his lawyer submitted it that made me look crazy, not what I was saying. If you followed what I was saying along a timeline, an event, um, one event after another, it would have made perfect sense, I believe, uh, as far as me begging to see my children, him denying me until I was finally irate enough to publicly be so angry. And that was the, I said, the, the sole focus. He somehow made that the beginning of our freaking relationship. 
even though I've known him since I was 16 fucking years old. Yeah, oh, I have a mouth. I, who wouldn't? I mean, it's hard to even talk shit out loud without saying. But I have been taught throughout this process that I am not allowed to have an emotion. I can't be angry or else I'm psychotic. I can't be happy or else I'm manic. I live under a fucking nightmare of there's never good enough. No matter what I do, no matter how I do it. That was why I drew the line when I did. And somehow ended it from divorce court into drug court. Watched the guy before me with 50 felonies get a slap on the wrist and see my children walk out of my freaking life for doing nothing but saying no I will refuse to be sexually harassed when I see my children all I want is to see them without you which I have every freaking right to do it's a no fault state where I was turned into a freaking witch hunt so that the man could isolate and break his children make him hate their mother because they had the audacity to still love her when she told him no, even though he wrote a bedroom wall monument to her of how much I love you, I love you, I love you, turned around and told her children what little sons of bitches they are for loving their mother. When, and all the crap he was talking about me was all lies. Instead, he kept my other child here to try to make those accusations come true. And that never happened either. As hard as he tried, oh, he tried. He gave it his damnedest. The worst thing he wanted was for mom and dad to get back together and him to be blamed. Although he will always be blamed. It doesn't matter what he does. It doesn't matter that he's fucking broke me. It doesn't matter if he brought me back on chain and collar. He would always be the reason we broke up. He would always have been the cause, always wanted it, had it out for him. It doesn't freaking matter. You think they would freaking get that after me being through it since I was 16. It doesn't matter what you do. It's never good enough for him. He always finds a reason. And the fact you did something in the past that you can't change, you're, you're done already since I did it. Your eternal freaking grievance, as far as he's concerned, no matter what he does to you, one small slight in the past, and uh, no wonder I get no wonder the angel and her freaking mind games, uh, and to what I believe he was um, a budding schizophrenic when he met her, and her freaking mind games. Uh, we met in a bar in that way forever and so you have to deal with whatever I do you crap now that's the tip of the iceberg I get now that she was the ringleader of, of Raymond and uh, what he was doing that she used and always used sex for power to get her way, there was nothing for enjoyment. Um, and uh, the things I would like to do to her. Just, uh, she, she had her first kid, Brian, father of her first kid. In her 20s and uh, some of this the reasons for his trauma uh, he pooped and he, uh, she didn't even check whether the water was too hot too cold but he was too little to say anything this is, this is the woman who sells herself now as an advocate of the disabled. When she looked at me, pregnant with her child, guzzling a fifth of whiskey, and told me, if you fuck them up, you'll get more money for them. 
and uh, as I didn't take that advice. But I'll let her have Erica's kids without any supervision, any oversight, any accountability. In fact, hey, let her use Erica's expired ID and she could just pretend to be her and say, my kids are crazy. They even got the dropsies. People don't change to such an extent overnight. And if they do, the person making that accusation doesn't have to hide it. It doesn't have to tell everybody involved. Whatever you do, don't verify the facts when the person providing the facts is somebody up until then, they all would have nothing to do with us because they called him a liar, a troublemaker, an actual drama person who did cause drama would make up stories in order to cause drama between people and uh, there's nothing better for a hypnotist than to know your subject. And so it makes no sense. Everything is going great. Everything's going great on a wonderful path and he deliberately self-destructs every time. It, it makes no sense. Except for the, the the rabbit hole, the Oz, the the, um, the nightmare that I realized. It's been most of my life. And... and Pretty much on my own. There's no help because that's crazy. <laughs> Never mind. I'm very intelligent. I have a degree. I understand the signals, the body language that I'm receiving, the mixed messages. How long can I continue to maintain a denial that everybody wants to? Force me to maintain it, and I refuse to. Um, his glaring changing of accusations and isolation of our kids, it, it, insisting on professional supervised visits. Like, what is that anyway? For an 11 and 13 year old, especially, um, like I said, I think it was my opportunity to ruin I earned the right to be given a chance with my children and be given the opportunity to blow that chance and um, instead it was a freaking witch hunt it literally if it weren't for who I am and the education that I have I am you know most likely would have succeeded in um, that to me is another disgusting side thing of this is um, how many people that might have happened to. Mm. It's so hard to type, you know, but I'm really thinking about trying to connect the dots to this stuff, and I know I need to say it out loud, but I don't like being on tape, and I am, even, I'm trying to type it, the motion, make it difficult, and they're talking um, okay, one, two, who just messaged me 24 minutes? I guess it's probably good.
for now.